Hi everyone and welcome to this being the sixth floristry class and there's a whole heap of notes I've spent a lot of time on today's lesson and it's all about making a fully wired bouquet and I thought that because it was my spring the best time for me to start would be right now because the first of spring to me is the first of all of the seasons and I have gathered together here as many spring flowers as I could find and I've put them in the order of which we're going to use them and let me just go through what we're going to be using today so that you've got a grip of what we're going to do. Right so I've got some lambs here over here, I've got camellia leaves which these dark ones over here which we're going to use as our base. Now the reason I'm using those is because they're really strong sturdy leaves and because we're going to be wiring all of these beautiful spring flowers which I might just add and point out when I look at things like this and the delicacy of the little petals, the best way to tell you about how to handle these is as if you were going to be wiring butterfly wings because they're all very, very dainty and delicate in their composition. So I've got some Paris over here and that'll be the third thing that we put in because that's a droopy thing but I'll get into that in due course. I've got tulips here. Some of the tulips I've left in the wrapping um, mainly because I know that that's going to keep them all upright because these I've just unraveled and with the lights today they're all sort of starting to droop down. I've got these little fine petite little daffodils with the bigger daffodils and they're all just sort of starting to open which is perfect when you're selecting your flowers. I've got freesias that I've gathered from my garden plus some that I have purchased right through to the matchsticks, the little blue matchsticks. I've got some Daphne over here which smells absolutely divine. I've also got a hyacinth so that's sort of like quite dominant. I've also gone down to some lovely little violets which are just through here and I've got a hellebore and then I've got some stock and I've got some irises. So everything I've selected all has different methods of wiring and also it has different, um, there are different ways of which you handle them plus also how you're going to put them into the bouquet. Um, and we're going to go right through, oh, I've also got some wire and the tape down here. These are the tools that we're going to be looking at today. So I've got the wire here and the wire I've selected is 22, 20 24 and 26 so the 24 is the heavier wire right through to the 26 which is the finest wire. I've got some sharp scissors now I've had um, questions from some of you asking why don't I use a knife look it's just what you get used to I prefer to use the clippers or the scissors because that's how I what I started using when I first started plus I've got some different tape so I've got some green tape which we're going to mo mostly use for our binding and I've also got some white two types but I'll talk about those in due course. So um, also we've got the water mister because that is going to be important plus I've also got right down over in the front here I've got some wet cotton wool which we're going to use to moss or to put some moisture around each of our, our flowers as we wire them to try and keep them as fresh and to get them to last as long as we can. I'll also go into the other types of bouquets before we start but give me a moment to strike all of this and we will start with the wiring of our base and putting the filling foliage in which is going to be the Pelagonian. It has a beautiful smell and it's a light texture and with the dark and the light and with the lambs here we're going to have a really lovely combination and a nice base in which to rest all of our flowers. So I'll be back in just a moment so go and get a coffee and I'll see you soon. <laughs> 